Well, hi everyone. Good evening. And uh, we are here on Loving Life Now. So uh, say hi when you've joined us. Pop on in your details in the comments. Let us know that you are here. And uh, great to be back after a two week break. I've got Lee here with me. I'm here. And uh, Lee's just doing some sharing across the other social media platforms. So as you join us, as you pop on in, let us know you're here. Great to be back after a two week break. And uh, we've got a great topic lined up for this evening called following through. So uh, let us know you're here, pop your details in, um, say hi. I'd love to welcome you to this evening's Facebook live stream. And uh, certainly, as I said, we've got a great topic. So as you join, g'day Shani. Hi, hey, hey. Lee. Great to have you back. Thanks, Shani. Great to be back. And of course, we've had lots going on in our life over the last week, uh, last two weeks. Debbie Sue says, Hey, hey, hi there. G'day, Sally. Sally says, hi, guys. Hi, Sally. Uh, hi, Angela, Sally. welcome to you. Newbie. Hi, Angela. Uh, Jeff Nixon, all the way down in Victoria. G'day to you, Jeff. Peggy over in WA. Hi, Simon and Lee. So nice to see you both back. Yes, we are two weeks off and we are back in the fold on Facebook. Uh, Claire Perry. G'day, Claire. Hi to you. Georgina, hi to you. Trees, hi to you. Narelle's here. G'day, Narelle. Um, great to be here. Who else we got out there? As you join us, pop your details in. Let us know you've uh, you've joined us on our Facebook Live. We've got a great topic this evening lined up called Following Through. Lee's just doing some sharing. I'm following through. You're following through. Good. And I'm done. And you're done. Excellent. Well, as I said, we've uh, had the last two weeks off, so we are super, super excited to be back. Yeah. We've got a great topic. I've done a lot of research into this topic, and uh, you said, oh, I think it'll be a quick one. And I said, no, I think no, it'll no. be a long one. No, I said, let's make it a quick one. <laughs> I didn't say it will be a quick one. And I said, I think it'll be a long one. <laughs> yes. Uh, what else have we got? Bernadette says, hi. Uh, Demetrios uh, says, hey. G'day, Michelle. Demetrios. Michelle. G'day, Michelle on the Goldie. Uh, Faye Lee. Hello, Faye. Uh, Shushi and Jimmy. G'day. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. And yes, are you feeling better? Not quite. Uh, not recovered. <laughs> Lee's not recovered, but she's doing well I'm to here. be on Facebook Live tonight, let me tell you. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> um, so she was in hospital last week, had surgery. I got home Sunday. And, uh, got like home two Sunday. Days ago. And she's on two weeks of rest. Um, so we're putting her on Facebook Live. <laughs> just I'm to... smiling. Exactly. You're <laughs> smiling, absolutely. So anyone else just join us? Pop your details mm -hmm. in, let us know you're here. Mary Ann. G'day, Mary Ann. Nice to, uh, nice to see you here this evening and joining us. And uh, the topic is following through. So we'll get it started very, very quickly. Um, should she send you a thumbs up and a flower? But looks it. Thanks. A pink flower. I've got lots, she got of, pink lots of flowers. flowers. It's lots of pink flowers. Actually, lots of pink flowers. Anyone would think your favourite colour was <laughs> pink. Looking good, Lee. Well done for being here and pres and persisting what? and persisting through. <laughs> through. Uh, well, that's what we're talking about. Following through, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to uh, dive into this topic. So <laughs> the benefits of following through are vast. And Lee, they can be life-changing. Absolutely. They can absolutely be life-changing when you follow through. It creates a path to a more fulfilling lifestyle. Um, and it's when we don't follow through that uh, it affects all other areas in our life. And there's a number of those we're going to touch on this evening. Bridget Rees, g'day, says, uh, looking very relaxed. I don't guys. know about that. <laughs> I don't know. Lee's, Lee's, um, she may, she, maybe she's coming across relaxed. Um, but she's, she's suffering too nice and doing well. <laughs> A little bit of pain, but I'm, I'm, good. I'm, I'm, I'm the nurse, so I'm the driver, the chauffeur, You're the, chauffeur. Uh, the cook, the cleaner, <laughs> the nurse, the worker, the business, the business. Having a bit of makeup and a smile. Kind of <laughs> Kelly Hamilton says hi, Simon Lee. Yeah, g'day, Kelly. All right, so what what are the effects of not following through? That's what we're here to talk about this evening, and we've got a whole range of different areas that. Uh, uh, when we don't follow mm. through, where what what effects they have on our life? Um, Kay Kayla, Kayla, who's that? Kayla. Kayla's up right and early. Hello, Good Kayla. On Good morning from on. Boston in Massachusetts. Now let me say this: it's currently seven thirty p.m. in Australia. It's four thirty. It's four thirty a.m. in New York. So I don't know what time zone you're on um, there, I'm Kayla. Sure she's on Eastern. She's on Eastern. Yeah. Okay, so four thirty a.m. You've. Got up and joined us on Facebook Live over in the States. Good on you. I think well you done. said I should be in bed right now. Like, yeah, I probably should. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, Ken all right. says go for a great topic. All right. So effect. what's the effect of not following through with something? Well, first of all, the knowledge relied on to make the decision, right? The knowledge that you rely on to make the decision becomes invalid. 
Mm -hmm. right? When you don't follow through, it becomes invalid. The value of one's knowledge becomes less because you actually create this knowledge to go and do something and then never do it yeah. and you don't follow through. So the value of the knowledge that you've created yes. becomes okay. worthless, yeah. right? Uh, it's a waste of effort mm -hmm. and resources. So a lot of times when we go to do a particular thing or a particular task or a particular um, goal mm -hmm. and we don't follow through, what happens? We've wasted time, we've wasted resources and we've wasted our own effort. Energy. Energy, absolutely. So it can also become a mistake that one wishes not to repeat, mm -hmm. right? So, so then sometimes you might not go for something else because you thought, oh, I'll waste all that time and energy on that and I didn't do it. And correct. So why bother doing something else? Absolutely. So not following through can lead you to believing that you've wasted, you've made a mistake, it was a whole waste of time mm -hmm. and you don't go and repeat it and you never try it again. Mm -hmm. um, no follow through does not give you any opportunity. So if you don't follow through, how do you create a new opportunity? How does something you change? You can't. You can't. It doesn't. Um, it also affects your confidence. Yes. So it reduces one's confidence when you actually don't follow through on something. Because you don't achieve the goal. Yeah. Mm. It becomes frustrating, mm -hmm. uh, confusing, and uh, ultimately defeating. Yep. So frustrating, confusing, and ultimately defeating. And that's a big thing. So for a lot of people, when they don't follow through, they don't realize the effect of not following through and what that effect is going to have on a whole range of other areas in their life. And those areas can be pretty significant. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, And also, you lose enthusiasm to start something new. Yeah. Well, like I said, if you, didn't, you failed on that, you're not going to necessarily go and do something else that's similar. Yeah. So losing, losing uh, enthusiasm, not a great thing. So the importance of, of following through cannot be understated in life, right? The importance of not following through cannot be understated. So not following through on one's decision brings about short and long-term emotional harm to ourselves, mm -hmm. to the people around us. And we're going to talk about that as well, about what effect not following through has on others. So we'll touch on that as well. Mm -hmm. So have you started something yourself and not followed through? Maybe ask yourself that question. Yes. Have you started something and not followed through? In the past, In yes. the past you have? Not recently. Okay. All right. What about you? And what would that be? I um, started a, um, a course. I did a course, a developer's course, to do some developing stuff with property. And yes, I you did. follow through on well, That cost you a lot of money too. You You're still paying it off. You're still paying it off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you invested your time into a development course yep. and a lot of money and a lot of resources. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Not too bad, but huh? I wouldn't do it again. You wouldn't do it again. Okay. But do you think that do you think that you went into that learning a lesson now? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So sometimes if you don't well, if you don't follow through on something, there can be a reason for it. And there can be something could come out of it, right? Mm -hmm. Um so uh you can learn something. You can look at what was good about it. What have you learned from it? I definitely learned stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to implement some of the stuff I learned. Sure. So, so what I'd encourage you to do is to write down, not right now, but just make a, a mental note to go back and, and look at some things in your life that maybe you've not followed through on and ask yourself, you know, have I started something and not completed it? Um, you asked me if I'd done that. Oh, I do that all the time with yoga. <laughs> I, yes. I love yoga and... It's so good for me. And it does I, a period I start of time it and I do it for stops. a period of time and I stop. <laughs> and then I start it again and then I um, do it for a period of time stop. and then I stop. Um, and it's not that I don't want to do it. It's just that I prioritize other things. Yeah, yeah. I, I just don't prioritize it enough. <laughs> so that's something that's got to change for me, absolutely. All right. So what effect does not following through have on our self-esteem? So what effect does it have on our self-esteem? Well, at some point, success looks like something only for other people, mm -hmm. right? So the person who, who uh, doesn't follow through then thinks, well, you know, those people over there that have created success, it's only for them. I, I can't do that, mm -hmm. right? So they, they have a... They've got better skills, they've got better yeah, backgrounds, yeah. they've got better knowledge, they've got better... Yeah, it directly affects mm -hmm. that person's self-esteem in a negative way. Mm -hmm. It decreases their confidence. They don't feel as confident. They don't feel as uh, confident that they're going to be able to get out there and create something. 
um, their person's energy mm -hmm. decreases, so they they lose a, a, a level of energy and they feel defeated, mm -hmm. right? And uh, and of course it erodes their confidence and self image. Yeah. So that's that's the effect on your self esteem when you don't follow through, right? So do we want do we want to create that? Mm -hmm. Is that the sort of self esteem we mm -hmm. want? So share with us, is there something in your life that you haven't followed through on? So while we're chatting, pop it in the, the comments if you're willing to admit it. <laughs> well, Michelle's just put a comment saying self-sabotage, yeah. Self-sabotage is a big one. Um, and that's something that a lot of people do, even unconsciously, they self-sabotage uh, without even knowing that they're doing it. And that can be in all areas of their life, relationships, uh, family, business, um, weight, uh, you know, the ability to, to control your, your eating, um, your exercise, your fitness, your all those things, mm -hmm. right? All right. So what's the effect of not following through on boldness? So people are not typically bold um, when they... Well, sorry, let me rephrase that. People who are not typically bold become that way by not following through. So in other words, if you don't follow through, you, you don't become a person that makes bold decisions, do you? No. Because you don't follow through. So those people that don't follow through are not normally bold. Mm -hmm. um, there's no, no payoff leads to a feeling of foolishness for trying. Mm -hmm. Now, how often do you hear that where somebody says, I tried that, it didn't work, and I feel like a fool? Or I feel like an idiot. Yeah, or I feel like a failure. Feel stupid. Yeah, so they, it, they put it on themselves um, that there's, because they didn't get the payoff that they were looking for, it, it leads them to a, a sense of feeling that way, mm -hmm. where it doesn't have to. Yeah. Right? But that's the effect of not following through. Because if you actually followed through and completed it, you'd reach the goal, mm -hmm. no matter what time it took. Um, they live in their comfort zone. So people who, who uh, the effect on boldness is that you're constantly living inside your comfort zone. Um, less and less willing to step outside your comfort zone. You become hesitant. Mm -hmm. You walk on a tightrope. Great. <laughs> you, uh, you, you don't, I think you know. I fall off at the moment. <laughs> Could be that medication that no, making, no you, making, you, making you a bit googly, woozy. Um, so less and less willing to step outside their comfort zone. Um, they will even oppose others in their circle of influence. Mm -hmm. So if somebody said to you, Lee, well, why don't you go and do that? And, and you were the person who uh, had not completed it you would then be opposing the people who are your circle of influence saying, I think you can do it. I know you can do it. Why don't you go do that? Or why don't you continue? Or why don't you like go to that goal? Mm -hmm. You'll, the person who's, who's um, being at the effect of not following through is even going to oppose those people mm -hmm. who actually believe in them. Yeah. Right? So you've got to believe in yourself more than somebody believes in you. So Peggy says, yep, I just did that with my health kick. I aim was 10 kilos. And I only lost five, but I'm actually fine with that because I feel good and I'm eating healthy again, aware of what I'm eating. Awesome. All right. Good. Well, that's good. You didn't good fail because you didn't fail. like give up. You just didn't get to the goal yet. And goals are, what are they? Movable. Yep. And where do you set them? <laughs> In sand. You can't test me. In sand. Come on. <laughs> So you, test me. <laughs> I'm not in the Don't mood to be tested. <laughs> All right. So um, blind to the effect that is caused by their own inaction. So um, when you don't follow through, those individuals are absolutely blind to the effect to the to the effect that that they're in the situation because they're not following through. Mm -hmm. Right. So they're creating it. So the cost of not following through on your decisions is pervasive. 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 Was it was. I had to actually Google like, it. What does that mean? And go, what does pervasive mean? And it's about spreading widely through a group of individuals. So the cost of not following through on your decisions can spread widely through a group of individuals. Okay. Because it can have an effect on others. Because mm -hmm. others could follow, could not follow through. And they can say, well, if you're not going to do it, then I'm not going to do mm. it. Right? All right, so what effect does it have on your family when you don't follow through? Um, family tends to be influenced by either more or less boldness. Um, it's, the, it's whether you live with purpose, you're eager to start things, and you're based on the example that you set. So if you're someone that's eager to start things and you're on purpose and you, 
you're living life to the fullest, then you're setting an example for your family. Mm -hmm. However, if you don't follow through on things, on decisions that you make, on commitments that you, that you commit to with your family or loved ones, it can lead to a frozen or fearful mentality okay. within, the, within your family. So your family learns from you, right? We all learn from those around us. Yep. And if, let's say a family, mum and dad always give up. You know, they don't follow through on anything they say. Dad says, I'm going to wash the car today. And he goes out there and he washes half the car, right? <laughs> or washes the outside but doesn't back in the inside. Or he goes and watches TV and doesn't wash exactly, the car at all. Exactly, right? So what, I thought you were going to wash the car, Dad. Oh, I changed my mind, right? Mm -hmm. But you said you wanted to wash the car. No, I decided that I'd sit down and... No, or, or even worse, he goes, oh, I'm going to take you to bounce today, kids. I'm going to take you to bounce. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then like, oh, no, I can't be bothered. Yeah, I can't be bothered. I don't want to take it about. So what, what example are we setting um, our family members when we don't follow through on things? So you've got to take responsibility to handle your life. So unless you break the mold of, you know, you may have grown up with parents that didn't follow through or grandparents that didn't follow through. And that may have had an effect on who you are as a person or as you grew up, mm. you know, who you became. And the only way to change that is to take responsibility um, for yourself in your life. Uh, act boldly to accomplish new things yourself. Uh, keep excited in your life. You've got to be excited about new things. Yeah. Uh, grow and count the wins yep. through your life. So you can actually break the mold mm -hmm. of the way that we are influenced mm -hmm. by our family members. Mm -hmm. So even if we're influenced by family members who haven't followed through and, that, and that's the example that we've been given in our lives or that's the example that we've been set, we can change that. Yeah. We can change that mould. There was a few messages. All right. Uh, that, that was one. Peggy's. Uh, Richard <laughs> says, uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained, but following through on that venture is key. Absolutely. Michelle <laughs> Peel says, I think a lot of time why people don't follow through is because they don't make themselves accountable to themselves. Uh, it's easier to stay in their comfort zone. Yeah, mm -hmm. very true. Um, Sally said, just wanted to pop in and say hi. It's been a while since I've plugged into your lives and I've missed them. Good on you, oh, Sally. Thanks, Sally. Well, thanks for joining us and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of our discussion. So uh, the effect on, what's the effect on our circle of influence? Mm -hmm. Now, who's our circle of influence? The people that we spend time with. Yep, the people that we spend time with. And they can be uh, people in a workplace. Mm -hmm. They can be uh, loved ones. They can be friends and uh, business associates. Mm -hmm. They can be um, our business community here. Yeah. Is a, certainly a circle of influence. Um, it can be people that we hold in our, our board of directors in our life, they can be a circle of influence. Mm -hmm. So those people are influential in areas of our life that we aspire to. Yes. So Lee, we can have somebody on our board of directors who's got a, um, a you know, fantastic loving relationship and think, wow, look at, look at you know, how long, and married, how, how long they've been married and the relationship they've got. And, and that could be an inspiring um, relationship to have you know, in your life. So therefore, it could be, they could be on your board of directors. Yep. Who else could be on your board of directors? I said not to test me. <laughs> All right, just give me someone. Come on. What about like someone like Anthony Robbins, right? You yes. could say Tony Robbins yep. could be on your board of directors. Yep. For many things, right? Could be yep. his energy. Could be his big head. <laughs> I don't know. Could right? be his booming voice. Could be his booming voice. Oh, could I be his, take that from you, though. It could be his energy. I don't know, right? Um, so, so we can have a board of directors in our lives who we aspire to for many reasons mm -hmm. and, uh, and we can all have that. So if we don't follow through on things, what effect does it have on our circle of influence? So let's talk about that. It'll attract others as you climb the ladder. What, sorry, we attract others as we climb the ladder of life, right? Like us, um, successful people come into our circle mm -hmm. because we're climbing the ladder. So yeah. whether that's in business whether that's in um, uh, a job, right? You're climbing the ladder in what you're doing or you're in business and you're climbing the ladder in your business. And climbing the ladder is just reaching higher places, higher potential. You know, you're creating more, you're, you're, um, you're developing as a person, you've got self-growth going on and you're attracting a different caliber of people, mm -hmm. right? So you gain support from these people and they become influencers and they also become... You know, things become, there's greater possibilities. 
Um, relationships to value, develop. Uh, there's value add from these people. Mm-hmm. They bring value into your life. And they assist you. Yeah. Right? Now, that's all positive. But what happens if we don't follow through there? Well, that re- those relationships become compromised by not following through. It begins a downward descent. Mm-hmm. And we start falling off the ladder. That'll hurt. <laughs> and we start slipping back down that ladder of life. Do you want to slip down the ladder no. of life? No. Okay. So... Um, you know, we want to be climbing the ladder of life and we want to be aspiring to um, always do something greater, Mm -hmm. right? However, if we don't follow through, then we're actually going backwards on the ladder of life. So that's not a good thing. Um, And of course, the fallout of the people, uh, the circle of influence, that has a big fallout Mm -hmm. because those people that, that we've attracted into our life, do they want to then... Be around us and support us and hang out with us and no, why not? Because we're not the person that we were. Yeah, because we haven't followed through. We're not. We're not committing to do what we said we're doing. Yeah. So um, people want to surround themselves with people that are on purpose, that are creating success, that are leading by example, that are doing what they say they do. Um, Lee, I, you know, when I grew up, it was in, indoctrinated into me by my family and my parents that if a job's worth doing well. It's worth doing well the first time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you never have to do it again. And, and that stands so true to me today in life, even uh, in business, in, you know, at home, with a family, with children. And I, and I even um, put that on the kids. You would have heard me say that. You know, if you're going to do it, do it properly, mm. right? If you're going to do it, do it properly the first time. Then you don't have to do it again. Don't do a half assed job because then you're going to have to come back and fix it. Yeah. Right. So that was something that was always taught to me as I grew up was if it's worth doing, it's worth doing well the first time. So, you know, that was something that always um, was a positive to me about following through. Complete the task, do it right the first time, and then you don't have to come back and fix it or do it again later. So um, let's talk about, so we've got that, we've had that fallout of our circle of influence, and that can also then jeopardize people's careers. Mm Mm-hmm. Because all of a sudden, if they're falling off the pedestal or off the ladder, then they're not actually um, they're not actually achieving what they want should be achieving, and that may end up being a negative result. Narelle says, "Follow through creates trust. Absolutely, it does. It builds trust because people then people then trust what you you trust you implicitly because you've actually said and done what you said you were going to do." I agree. Mm -hmm. Kelly Hamilton says. I do that to my kids too. <laughs> I hope they see it as a positive in their future. Kelly, I'm with you. I, I, I trust, trust, not hope. I trust they see it as a positive in their future. Absolutely. <laughs> and even if they don't realize it now, um, you know, walk past the bathroom last night and there was clothes left on the floor and a mat left on the floor. And I'm like, when you finish in the bathroom, you pick up your clothes, you put them away and you hang them out. So the instigator was called and said, hey, can you come and pick up your clothes and the mat? It wasn't me. <laughs> no, it was one of the kids. <laughs> but if, but if, again, if they had followed through and actually done it, then they wouldn't be asked to go and do it again, mm-hmm. right? So, so again, it's about teaching them um, values and teaching them the importance of following through just in what they do. Um, Kelly says, oh, that's, oh, that's my life. life. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. All right. So what's the effect that it has on the world around you? If you don't follow through, what effect does it have on the world? So we've talked about the people, we've talked about ourselves, we've talked about family, we've talked about our circle of influence, but what effect does it have on the world around us? Well, the creation of life as we know it is a result of people who followed through. I love that. The creation of life as we know it today is a result of the people that followed through. We wouldn't have lives, would we? We wouldn't be streaming on we Facebook. We'd be on Facebook. Right? If Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> hadn't followed through on developing Facebook, we wouldn't be here tonight. Mm-hmm. Right? So everything in life that we live, what we do, um, it's all a result of people it following was through. Who did it? It was what? Leanne, who did it? Leanne, who did it? Alfredo said it was Leanne. Uh, Sally Carter says, love that. Look, I love that. Creation of life as we know it is a result of people who followed through. That's so powerful. You know, we talk about light, right? 
Mm. Edison designed the, the light bulb. We talk about, um, you know, things like our cars and, you know, Henry Ford designing, designing cars. And just there's so many things in life that we can be so appreciative for. Mm. And it's a lesson that those people, everything that we have today is a result of people following through. Now, the world relies on people making decisions and taking action. Is that true? Yes. Yes. The world relies on people making decisions and taking action. Yep. And if you don't make decisions and don't take action, then you're not moving forward. So if you're doing the opposite, you, you personally, each and every one of us, are not contributing to the world. Mm, That would suck. Right? So... What impact does it have of you following through? Um, uh, sort of got that is really powerful. As there are so many naysayers, let me just go back and read that. Yeah, people have followed through against all the odds. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Narelle says, "What about the telephone?" Absolutely. Look at the phone. Amazing. Like truly, the phone. We've gone to video calls. We, you know, we can text. We can communicate. Um, We never could do that. You know, if you left home, you were uncontactable. Didn't matter where you were or or anything. And um, what's that next comment? Who's Uh, that? This came up. says... This conversation is speaking to my heart. Love it. Thank you so much for this. Oh, thank you. Thank you for getting up early and joining us in the United Mm -hmm. States. Good on you. Um, So if you're doing the opposite, you're not contributing. There is real evidence of people, however, out there today in society as a result of... As a result of indecisions... In action, where they are starving, uh, poverty stricken, on government assistance, and living on the streets. Right now, there's people out there with all, in all those situations. But how? Why are they there? Why are they in those situations? A lot of those situations, ex- exactly. <laughs> a lot of those situations are all about indecisions, inaction, and a lack of follow through in some area, somewhere along the way in their life. That has led them to that. Or it's government, right? It could be countries that have actually not followed through on decisions and taken action for their fellow citizens. Now, I've got a really great little um, quote here that I, I want to show you. It's out of Bring our... back to front. Yeah, we'll be back to front. I'll read it. It's out of our um, uh, Beyond Freedom Evolution Personal Development Program. This says, now that I've finally made my decision, I suggest this is a gentleman having a board meeting with the board of directors, right? So let's say he's the CEO, he's sitting at the end of the table and he's got a a board of directors around him and and this is what he has to say. Now that I've finally made my decision, I suggest delaying the implementation until later when I can reconsider my decision and decide if it's really the right decision. Now, that is the effect of not following through. That is a procrastinator. That is the effect of not following through. I'll read it again. Now that I've finally made my decision, I'm going to suggest delaying the implementation until later when I can reconsider my decision and decide if it's really the right decision. (laughs) That's bizarre. That is so bizarre. All right. So moving on to our last bit of... Um, our topic here about following through. So when we follow through, what does it do? It finishes the job. It finishes the job. What else does it do? Contributes to ourself. We contribute to ourselves. We also contribute to those around us. Mm-hmm. So if I say to you that I'm going to do something and um, you're excited about it and I go after it and follow through, then it, it contributes to those around us, right? Yeah. I said, we're going to buy a new couch. Mm -hmm. Have I ordered the couch? Yes. Yeah, we ordered the couch, right? We followed through. Um, And uh, all right, so we've got, um, we contribute to the world. So decisions and action we take, particularly in what we do. uh, We love to assist and work with others. And uh, and that contributes to other people, right, in the world. So we're making a difference. And we're following through on what we say we're going to do. Um, we create an example for others by just being uh, true to ourselves and being on purpose. Mm-hmm. So we, we create that example. We create opportunities for others because we're on purpose and we're following through. Um, it creates a natural desire for one to grow, uh, go on to bigger things and bigger challenges and creates greater opportunity for others. Mm-hmm. And that's all as a result of what? Following, following through. through. 
<laughs> That's it. So what are you going to do? Follow through. Follow through. That's all you got to do. Follow through. Do exactly what you say you're going to do with the intention and create the result. And you will create the result and the success that you want. Mm -hmm. Angela Meek says, happy days. Thanks, Angela. Um, Alfredo Stewart says, sounds like many politicians. Yeah, not following through. Um, they could uh, take a leaf out of this book. Uh, Jess says, uh, so bizarre. That's um, when you read the quote. Oh, when I read yep. the quote. Okay. Um, Peggy made a comment about someone giving up. They gave up. The board, yeah, the, the CEO definitely gave up. Well, that's it, Lee. That's our topic for this evening called following through. I was super excited about it. I made Just, it and I followed through. <laughs> you did. You made it and followed through. She said to me before the stream tonight, maybe we should have had another week off. <laughs> I said, you'll be right. You'll be right. Mm -hmm. Just sit sit beside Good me smile. And, uh, and smile smile and look happy. Jeff says, thank you for a great stream. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for being here. Narelle says, uh, Angela, hey, you beautiful. Hey. <laughs> um, uh, Shani says, thank you. Great topic. Thanks, Shani. Uh, glad you enjoyed it. Uh, we're getting lots of love from Faye. Thanks, Faye, for the love hearts. And uh, look, we'll be back next week, same time, 7.30 uh, Queensland time for another topic, uh, personal development topic on our Facebook Live. Patricia said something and then it jumped. Uh, Angela says automatically translated. She is lovely. Um, Cheryl, Cheryl Mapp says, good to see you. Thanks, Cheryl. Glad you could join us from Melbourne. Uh, Claire Perry, thanks, guys. So, again, we'll be back next week, uh, 7.30, same time on Facebook mm -hmm. for, on Leanne's Loving Life Now page. Of course, we mm -hmm. share it across the other platforms. Come and join us. Come and support us each week. We always grab a great topic out of our Beyond Freedom Evolution program. Lee's going to be resting it up. I'll be the cook, the cleaner, the chauffeur, the... Uh, the business That's owner, good. the worker, the the um, hey, drop, dropping work. the dropping the kids at school. Yeah, you're happy. She's been working. She's been prospecting from the lounge. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, so that's it for us for this yeah. evening. So thanks everyone. Thanks again for joining us, bye. and we'll see you same time next week. See you then. Thanks. Bye bye.